the financial advantage, meaning your money is basically hers, and her money is hers, and you can't look at it, you can't keep your eye on it, you can't say whatever happened to that, what happened to that jewelry, what happened to that, no, 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 that's not yours to touch, that's not yours to touch. And whatever you gave her, like you say, hey, you know, on our 10th anniversary, I, I'm going to give you this car. That you know, once you gave her the car, it's her car. It's her, you can't even take the keys and say, I'm going. No, you got to get her permission. And she better give it on her own good free will. No pressure, not even unspoken pressure that you can touch that car. Because you gave it up, it's done. It's done. وَآتُوا النِّسَاءَ صَدُقَاتِهِنَّ نِحْلَةً Give women their gifts happily and freely. Don't, you don't even think about them again. Don't even think about them again. So this, this financial sense that men are supposed to have is critical. And Allah mentions that as one of the first conditions of what makes a marriage work.